here's the thing. Confidence is contagious, right? Have you ever been in a room with someone that just oozes confidence? Maybe it's a professional athlete or a speaker and they just have this glow about them. And when they start to speak or they start to do their thing, it's magnetic. You just want to spend more time around it. They believe they can, so they act like they can and everyone else believes it too. Now, imagine Michael Jordan back in 1995 at the height of his career with the Chicago Bulls walking out for the jump ball. He would just stride right up to the line with his head held high and his game face on. And as he and the other team member would crouch down face to face to get ready for the whistle, 100% of his focus was on that ball. And when the whistle blew, he would explode into the air. That's confident. He knew what he was doing and he was focused on it. Let's imagine a different Michael Jordan. What if instead, all the way on his walk to center court, he just stared at his feet and he wrung his hands together and you could kind of overhear him muttering, gosh, I hope I'm a, I hope I'm a good basketball player. I hope I don't mess up. I don't, hope I don't let anybody down. Now that doesn't really inspire a lot of confidence, does it? Which Michael Jordan would you want playing on your team? Now I'm not a super sports fan. I don't even know if Michael Jordan actually did the jump ball thing back in the day, but the illustration proves a point. Confidence is contagious and when you show up for yourself and promote your services with confidence, your ideal clients won't be able to help but catch the vision. They'll want to automatically have confidence in you too. 